another corner, no brakes needed. And then just send it. Hey, it's Brett here, Mountain Bike More. And I got a twist on one of our favorites today. It's waterworks with a little bit of a loop afterwards. And it's worth watching because waterworks is ever changing. And also the little twist afterwards is super cool, super fun. And the trail workers or the trail angels have done a ton of work. So be careful out there, especially on waterworks. You never know what's going on with the jumps. Heck, I'm still working on them. And I hope you like this mountain bike more. All right, so here we go. We're off Antonio, getting ready to drop into the main entrance of Waterworks. Trail, a lot of us ride a lot, uh, partially because it's great for everyone, uh, partially because it's just super fun. It's gone through a ton of transformations over the years. This bridge can get wet in the morning. It's morning, it's overcast, but it's dry. Um, you used to have a different entrance up top off Antonio. If you can find an old video, it might be interesting. It was a little sketchy. Um, both entrances were changed by the county. Here we go, a nice little berm. You can see people wash out. Some people are flying down this. I used to see with my PRs and top tens, um, but it cost me a couple visits to the hospital. So now I kind of cruise it, hit the jumps when I can. They're not the easiest of jumps for being a trail. All Woo! right, so here we are at the top escalator next to the solar panels. Here's a super fun jump. Woo! Good. Watch out, rabbits. A little bonus jump. We all like that one. All right, here we go. Oh, darn. Here we go. We're coming in off the solar panel side. Sharp turn here. Woo! Super fun. Here's where the two trails merge, or the two entrances. Here's our little jump transfer. Firm action, firm action. Ah. That jump's just such a weird angle right now. And now I'm trying to make this scat jump here on this bike, which I haven't done before. I don't feel like I carry enough speed into it. So it's a challenge. Here we go. Yeah, made it. Here we go. Yeah, made it. Woohoo! And this thing's weird. Oops, pushes. That happens a lot. Oh. Or not. And this thing's weird. Oops, pushes. That happens a lot. So I'll have to show you what happens when you make it kind of right. A lot of guys skip that second jump because they can't get it dialed. I can't get it dialed, but I still try. Don't have enough speed for this. You can land it in the tranny if you're really good. This one's sick, just put you right in the right spot. Woo! Another corner, no brakes needed if you're brave and you know how to turn. Woo! And then up here is my favorite jump on waterworks. Go wide if you're struggling with speed like this. And then just send it. Woo! And then just send it. Woo! Super fun. Some berms to save you. And then here's some jumps that are always changing, so be careful. I take the main line, Woo! aim a little right, Woo! don't go in that hole. Oh. Woo! Aim a little right, Woo! don't go in that hole. 
went in that hole yesterday, almost ended up on my face. You can hear I'm out of breath. This trail flows down, but you're still pedaling. Especially if you're on a big bike, you really have to work it. Great trail for a trail bike. And up here, you got a cool turn. that gets kind of blown out in summer. And it's uphill, so a lot of times you want to downshift, I should have. If you can carry speed, you can roll over that or bump it, jump it. And for those of you PR chasers, you're flying through here. But I'm gonna take a little different finish. We're gonna take the normal finish and cross the road. I'm gonna take you to the jungle. This is a cool little adventure here. Easy to make a wrong turn, but that's why you watch these videos. Learn where to turn, where not to turn. Maybe you have your own secret turn. But there's a lot of trail work been going on and let's go enjoy it and share it. So up here is the first turn in. Don't take that one, it's challenging and fairly overgrown. There's a second turn in up here where there's a fence, that's our landmark. Don't turn at the fence. So there's a fence here, today there's a white hat on top. And then the third turn, it's the one we want. Now we're in the jungle, check this thing out. Full cover, do it any time of the day. Rad crossing. Low tree. And if you're wearing sunglasses, it almost goes pitch black in here. So great place to jump out and scare your friends. Most of them are riding blind because they have sunglasses on. And you're just completely in a cave. Cave of bamboo. Now we're coming out the other side. There's a trail merge here with the other entrances. I've, I'll be honest, I haven't hit them in a while because the bamboo is so cool. Same with that bridge. And now it's some single track to a climb. And I'm out of breath because I've been pushing, but this climb is a challenge. And if you hike it, it's all good. We came up it yesterday as a group. Most of the guys hiked it. I made it. So I'm gonna to try to make it again. Um, I'm gonna get my granny gear and just crank. If I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. The sooner we learn that, the better off, the more fun we have. All right, I started too slow. So this is gonna be a bit of a whew, power struggle. And we made it, I was in granny the whole time up there, um, but it will get loose as summer goes. So we turn left. If you go right, you're on land tra side traverse. We're going left because we want to go check out the other cool creek crossing called Crossfire. So we're gonna have to pedal a bit. All right, so we're just cruising, looking for an opening on the left for Crossfire. You'll see some wear on the trail where all the people stop and turn around. There's been a few trails off to the right. They go all sorts of places. Uh, one of them is a cool little traverse along the, the canyon side. And here's our opening for Crossfire. Nice and large on the left. And here we have it. So keep your elbows in close. There's a sign Crossfire. Some nice little pumps right there. Uh, definitely a lot of brush. You're going through a creek area, so be on the lookout for poison oak. Um, try not to brush up in it or rub into it too often. You get to see the creek up here on the right. Beautiful, you can even hear it. Or I can hear it. When you're riding, you're probably not listening to it, but here we go. Tight little turns. Woo! Yeah, you can see the creek. Then up here is the one little climb. Catches a lot of guys off guard. You can get slick in summer. But right now it's pretty darn good. Just pedal up it. And that's the hardest part right now. All right, so leaves of three, let them be. Here's a little down to give us some speed. 
Woo! Looking right at the creek now. And here we come into the skinny area. There's a big sign that says Bigfoot area, stay on the trail. But these trees are pretty close together. So if you're not good at staying away from tree branches, just be forewarned. And then those are my favorite bridges of all the bridges I go over anywhere. These little logs, look how cool they are. So natural, that you can feel them under your tires. Keep your bike fairly dry for how wet this area is, how wet our winters have been. That is pretty darn cool. And now we're just totally in the jungle, totally shaded. Here's a bridge. You gotta be careful of pedal strikes. We did have a guy go down here, hit a pedal strike. So don't turn your brain off in here. Everything's tight. And up here is the last creek crossing, the major one, and there's this killer bridge. And this used to be an uphill slide that was really, really challenging. Get a little bit of speed, but you don't need a ton. Pedal right up it, tons of grip. And then the, law, the route that used to be challenging right there is gone. So they've made this trail easier and also pretty darn cool because there's some flow to it now. And then you're in the greenery. And this goes all the way to the very end of Spitfire, the skinny Spitfire. Oh, look at these roots. Woo. Don't get to ride roots very often here. So I'll put a link in the description to Ladera's longest single track, which includes this in its old form. Uh, the trail directions are still the same. It's just coming the other way, uh, but there's been some updates. So this video is all about updates, keeping you safe, keeping you aware, letting you know what's running well, what's not. So here we go. One little climb I almost forgot about coming up. So you gotta be ready for it. It's a little dip and then up the other side. And the other way it gets you too. Um, so just be prepared for that. And now you just pedal out. Two directional trail. Like I said, you can come off Spitfire right onto this. So keep your eyes open. If you have a bell, use it, but you see I'm not because I'm shooting a video. You don't want to hear ding, 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 the whole time. This loops about a half hour at my pace. So if you're with kids or a little slower rider, give yourself more time. If you're pushing it and fast, you don't need as much time. So cool little way, waterworks jungle crossing, crossfire. And you don't have to do them all, you can do whatever piece you want. And up here is the exit. One last turn. And straight ahead you can see the bottom of Spitfire. If you come out the long way, we're in the middle of Rusty Drum area. And now we're on the road, back to Escalator or DGs, or the Oso Road Climb. As always, hit like, hit subscribe, ask me questions, leave me comments. Waterworks is ever-changing. All the trails around here are, are getting updates on a regular basis. Uh, the trail workers, thank you again. And if you see me, yell, MORE! That is so much fun to hear. Mountain bike more. Ride more. Subscribe. Laugh more. Like. Crash more. Comment. Crash more. Comment.